Hello everybody. Right, as you know, um, the last journal I made, I took a signature out, which was um, this one here. Okay, because it was too big. And I've just made this into just a little journal. Yeah, just with some jute. And, oh, I made it out of a file folder and backed it with jute. And then that was the topper that I made in Junk in the Trunk somewhere, which I'll post below. And I thought what I will do with this is I'm going to decorate the whole thing. Yeah. I'm going to fill it up with bits. So, we, I, I mean, admittedly, I've done a few things already, as you know, when, you know, which will go with this. And I thought I would decorate it and just fill it basically with different things that go to town on it and then I will do it as a giveaway yeah so I thought I'd do a little just a little series on decorating I have done a couple before on blank journals and things and I just thought it'd be a nice little little something you know there's a new uh, I've got one envelope there but yeah there's a few things to do I'm just gonna go to town on it I think fill it up without any writing because <laughs> I don't write <laughs> and what I'll do is you know we'll, we'll see may do something on every page or but I, yeah I'm going to decorate it because that's what I feel like and then at least then some, it could be an inspiration little book for somebody all right but it's going to be a giveaway so let's have some fun right the first thing um is these two big pockets here where I feel as though I should find out where they're going to go right I find I like to put things like this on the, the thicker pages yeah or sometimes if you put them on the thin ones it I don't know they, they sort of make them go a bit floppy so I keep this sort of thing for like the thicker paper which I did I think one is going to go on the back if I remember rightly like either that one or that one I like that one so that's going to go there so I'm going to pin that already just put that there and then let's find so that's on that side of the signature we could do with something you know this end oh yeah I think that's going to go there myself then you've got that butterfly poking through there this could be so that it's stuck down here and we could have a tuck spot as well to get maybe um pieces of paper in so you could write in it that's a good idea andrea <laughs> yeah sorted so that's those two done and then we've made some embellishments as well didn't we on that recent challenge that i done why is it they didn't do that Right, so I'll put that one there. That's that. I'll stick those in a minute. Okay, we've got a nice. Oh, we've got um, one of the tags that we've done. I might put that in there actually. That'll be alright. I think that looks quite nice. Yeah. Oh. There. We've got oh, there we go. And we've got that there. So you know you've seen me make this for all the other things. That could go there. That might need. Ooh. Pocket there. That could go there. Actually, I'm going to put something thicker behind that. That could go there. Oh, I've got this one though as well. But that could go somewhere else. Yeah, like there. Anyway, we'll worry about that one later. Oh, I've got this. This needs to go somewhere, doesn't it? It's a bit greeny there. Oh, 
that's quite a thick piece. Could go there actually. So that's the sort of um, big pieces that I'd already made, except for the embellishments. Video on that as well. So that was a little challenge, and that's going to be that. Oh, if we have um, that could be a nice tuck spot look. Oh, I've done these two on the phone memo. These I want to use as well. Oh, I've got loads of stuff already done, actually. Gosh. <laughs> I might put that there. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Do use that one actually and then put a little butterfly here somewhere. So add a butterfly to that. I'm going to do that. I just want to get that one and then I'm going to go to the beginning. That's just give me a little bit of inspiration, just laid down as a basic, you know, basic sort of like, it makes me. Oh, it's hard to explain. It sort of like helps me because I don't like blank canvases, you see. So this will help me work out what I want to do. Okay, but definitely, you know, a little bit of fly somewhere here. Which I might do that now. thought well we'll just fill it up with what we got and then make some more things yeah that's gonna go there definitely oh it's gonna have a bit of that actually I've got any around it's enough it's a bit only one little bit carry on with this then and um, I think I, I've got that little bit snippet that we can use here for that left over from the other one I think that will be nice there that there I think Yes, our, um, well, our, my hair salon will be shut tomorrow. Um, doesn't normally open today anyway, so yeah, we've had to close the doors. I think I might put a little bit more under there, actually. Sorry, I'm thinking of putting a little bit more lace under there. Yeah, all very sad at the moment. But we've got to stay in. Um, just to help.
I'm going to do is actually, this is quite thin, this bit, so I'm going to cut that off like that. Because that's, looks better. Okay. Looking nice. And then all this tag here, we'll decorate that in a minute. I think we need something here, don't we? because there's quite a lot going on here so I'm going to keep something quite simple there it looks like I might need to do some more of those because I used quite a lot in that last journal Butterfly, yeah. I'm just gonna have because that's one, two, and then a the little one there. Perfect. Let's have a look. That well, might be a bit big. That one. That goes, doesn't it? It's got green and blue in there, and we've got green and blue going on here. I think that would be nice. Yeah. I might let me just put that. I'm just thinking it's going to be quite bulky with that there. Yeah, it's a bit sort of, you know, surreal what's happening, isn't it? And I do find I'm I'm not struggling with doing videos. I'm just struggling to talk about it, if you know what I mean. Because I think we all need a break because, oh, you know, social media at the moment is just full of it. Absolutely full of it. I know we all need to know. And, you know, yes, it is happening. But I sort of, I just, I actually get lost for words, okay? So, you know, if I don't sort of mention things, it's not because I don't care. It's because I actually struggling on what to say. Because I, I, I'm just, it's just surreal. Okay, so I want to try and keep bright and cheery if I can. All right. Right, so that's that done. And just think, have a nice journal at the end that we can do as a giveaway. That's why I keep thinking. I'm going to go enjoy myself doing this. Right, tag time. Which, my favourite occupation, <laughs> as you know. Uh, okay, well, that's, yeah, that's just a piece of paper made into a tag. Uh, those big ones I make, usually about three and a quarter. Well, that, yeah, three and a quarter. I think it's about six and a half, this one. Yeah, nearly six and a half. Oops, that's quite a nice size for those big pockets. So let's make something with that, really. I'll do a bit of background stamping, I think. I don't want to cover that bit of blue up there because that's actually quite nice. I'll leave that for something else. Yeah, I don't want it actually, no, I'm not going to put anything like that on it. For a simple reason is it's going to be tucked in there and you're not going to see it anyway. And I actually think the plainness of I mean, if anything, we could have something here. I think the plainness of it. Actually, that pink actually is working now. I wasn't sure, but I quite like it. So I'm just going to do something very subtle on there, I think. Right, I'm going to get on with this tag. I've actually lost the one I was, I had around with a bit of blue here. I have no idea where it's gone and I thought rather than search for hours looking for it, 
in my pile of junk. <laughs> I will just do another one. Um, what I was going to do is, yeah, like I say, I was going to keep it quite plain, but um, a bit at the top shows. So I'm going to just do a little bit stenciling with the Tim Holtz one, swirly one. And I'm using tea. And quite lightly, this is textured actually, this card. So it might show up on this. So I'm just going to do a bit like that. Like I say, I just want it nice and light. And then I'll go in here. bits and pieces here um, let's have a look I might work actually what happened to this bit <laughs> oh let's have a bit of Blue. Yeah, maybe there. Let's take that off. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. I haven't put the glue right to the edge because I know that paper's going to go underneath. I'm going to put that there. Tap the yellow away. And then stick this down. Do you know, the seagulls have been so quiet, and I think that's because there's no holiday makers, you know, around, or no food shops open. It's, it's just really weird. Oh, can hear them. <laughs> That's funny, I should say that. <laughs> and then you hear them. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to use a bit of that. Instead. Some under that tag there. Like that, I think. Yep. Ink that up. I'm going to stitch around mine. Have to be with black because I've been doing a bit of free motion machining. And I can honestly say I'm rubbish at it. <laughs> it's really hard. But I'm going to persevere. <laughs> and no, I'm not showing you it at all. <laughs> it's that bad. <laughs> oh dear.
need a bit of text stamp now. Oh. <clears throat> Still haven't cleaned that one, have I? Never mind. Yep, that'll be all right. Okay, I'm going to go and stitch around that now. Right, here we go. And that's that done. And then that's the back. Just a bit of music paper over the stitching. And then stenciled around it. Okay, that's it. Let's have a look. Oh, oh and some fibres there. That's going to sit in there like that. Okay. And that's that page done. Yeah. So what's next? Right, we've got that one done anyway. That um, I'm happy with all that. Yeah, I am. I might just ink that up a little bit on the outside there. I'm definitely happy with all that. That's fine. This, um, I'm actually happy with the way that looks, to be honest. That, that, that looks quite nice. Where that's going on so we just need to do something here which what I might do I think I'll, do, I'll use that stencil again it's quite a nice bit of a um, like a bit of lace effect there quite like the way that's looking to be honest um, I might have a bit of lace on the edge of the page there I think I will yeah do I want this one? Yeah, I quite like that one. Start is rumbling. <laughs> Definitely rumbling. What I might do is just ink a little bit on the edge there. Yeah, it's just so pretty, isn't it? That flower. So it goes so well, the book. And this is looking all right. This is pretty. I think that's it. Definitely. Yep. So this was going to be stuck here. So I'm going to do that now. But I'm going to stick down the two sides. That's the things we made out of newspaper. Make sure it's the right way, so it's there and now. Yeah. When there's stitching on it, just I always put a little bit more glue and make sure it's in that stitching. I'll do that. And 
And then what we, we have a tuck spot here for a journaling card or something that we can write on. I think I have some sort of paper like that, which I think I'm going to cut down and then tuck that behind that. Okay, so I've cut that down, just folded it up, inked it up a bit, okay for now, and then that is going to sit in there, like that. Okay, and then the next bit, we'll do something here, not sure what yet, but, oh, yeah, it's going to be, I think I need something else behind that by the look of it. Oh, that's right, I've just got one of these out, I must remember to use one of these in here um yeah something else needs to go in there or i'll put a little no that's what i'll do i'll put one of these tim holtz things on there that in there okay so that one's all finished now and we'll get on with this I was going to do a tiny little bit of stamping um, I've got some napkins out and I quite like these little blue flowers and I've actually got some that's the last one I've got of these but again it's all same color so might dot them around this journal and some of these little cornflowers are quite nice because they're quite a nice shape and they're quite delicate yep so that's what i'm going to use and there's a few other sort of little blue forget-me-nots in here that we can use yeah this is my blue bits here so i shall put them away for a minute it's all my old ends that's new napkins there and i love this one here so that that's a lovely shape and I've got the cornflowers there, but again, that's it's quite a big pattern, but goes beautifully. More this side than, say, the purple, but that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. But first, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of stamping just around here. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape and just do a little accent on the page there. I'm not worried too much about getting it all over just to make sure it's the right way up because I quite like the random randomness of it all so that was that's fine that's all I want and I shall keep that out because that's what I'll be using right way through um what have we got here oh let's have a bit of and I've got Tim Holtz washi tape um they're all from different ones. That's his butterfly one that, you know, that I mix mine up. Because <laughs> when I use it, I tend to like just get them out and then put them back anywhere. So I'm not going to tell you which ones they are, but I'm sure some of you will know. And I quite like this colour to go with this, if we can get into it. <laughs> And I just want a little bit, really. Right, let's have a look. down there and yeah to have a little blue butterfly there yeah but I think I'm gonna go with that and then if you know you want to write you can write around it this is just a piece of a ticket which is from the Blue Iris kit, I think. It's 
So if we put that there. And then. Okay, found the butterfly. This one, and then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this behind it. And then that will do for that page. Maybe even a little bit less than that. Oh, and at the moment, I'm using Fabri-Tac because I've noticed in the UK they have sold out a three-in-one glue. That's what I normally put in these little bottles. Um, and I actually, before it sold out, I picked um, Fabri-Tac up cheaper than I did three-in-one. So I think the popularity of the three-in-one glue has gone up and they've put the price up. That's what I found anyway. So... I did choose, oh, nice and monkey. Did choose Fabri-Tac last time, so this is what this is. Yeah, I get the big bottles. Yeah, and then I put it in the little ones. Okay. Oops, it's my water pot that's empty. I just need that down there. Oop. Yeah, and I'm using all my old um, wet wipes because we can't get any now. So I'm going through ones that, yeah, that I've dried off. <laughs> okay, um, that's that done. Oh, and I just put a little bit of string on there and just one of those little tags that, you know, you get postal tags. I've got a few of those hanging around. So that's on there. No, that's it, I think. I, I, I sort of like that page the way it is, so I'm leaving it. Okay, but I quite like the way that looks, so that's all right. In here, um, I've slightly inked up the edges here. Okay, I noticed that it was a little quite white. All right, so I'm going to do some of this envelope. I'm going to decorate it, and I'm not sure, actually, as I might put some pieces of paper in and use it as a booklet instead let's have a look anyway just going to ink it up first it's all been tea stained very lightly but I am going to ink up the edges and everything that's what I like doing so I was absolutely seeing nobody now so it's, it's actually really lovely to for you to join me on here so I don't feel like I'm crafting alone and I hope you don't either because we are here and I might cut them off actually use it as a booklet instead I've done that before so. Okay, so I've got that done now. So this is going to be stitched in here. Yeah, but before I do that, I mean, if you haven't got a sewing machine, then you can do your three three hole pamphlet stitched, you know, just do it by eye and just hand sew it. There's no problem. Okay, because that's going to sit in the, in the journal. All right, so I'm doing it, stitching it down there. But before I do that, I'm going to stitch all around it okay and then i'm going to stitch them in there and then that's that done really yeah i mean you can stamp and everything on that anyway so but i can um i might put a little butterfly or something in it so i'm just going to go and stitch around that and then i'll be back okay stitched all around there okay and stitch those in just there and i'm just going to do a little bit of stamping around just to sort of keep it in with everything I'm doing so I don't press very hard okay
And when it starts to run out, then I start to press a little bit firmer. But that's about it on that. Go to back to light touch again. There we go. Mm, I actually don't want that in there. That's a little bit too big. One of those will that size there but I can't cut tin horses down <laughs> I could actually silly me I can just ink up one this oh what was an I was using uh, coffee that's that's quite light the potting soil soil is slightly darker got some more on here so what I'm gonna do is while it's on there I shall do that How much just one lot goes <laughs> goes on forever, doesn't it? nearly done the whole journal I know it's light but you know if it's this is being written over that's exactly how you want it I think that is finally it <laughs> You can always add a bit more later on, but that's near near enough. Yeah, it's gone through the whole journal. Look, yeah, that's nice and dull. So just bits dotted around, perfect. Right, where's me? Yes. So all that was going to go over that way, wasn't it? Okay, let's sit in there nicely. That. I'll just put one of these here for now. I haven't got a dangle ready, but that will be okay, like that. Okay, and then we need something 
nice to go under there. Oh, and I've got these bits left, and I'm going to make a little something out of this. Okay, all right, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to make it that size. Okay, I just think I can stitch that on there. Is that of interest? I'm going to cut that down that same width as that and use this as a little stopper and then have a pull tag here for that to come, come down like that. And then put some lines on. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll get that right width, and then that's about right, if I just sew along there and along there and there, I think that'd be cool. There we go. Stick them off and that'll be... Yep, there. Okay. Okay, just stitch that on the top there. My machine is definitely playing up, but never mind. I've got another one, but that's it at the moment. As I said, I'm doing a bit of free motion, practicing my free motion stitching on my machine. And yes, it's the laugh a minute. <laughs> oh dear. Right, yeah, so all I've done is stitch that on the top there and then that'll come out. So I'm gonna add me lines. This is um, Hero Arts, somebody told me. It's called the Le Le the Ledger Stamp or something Hero by Hero Arts. All right, so I'm going to just ink up again. I don't want it too dark, and I don't mind if it misses bits or anything like that. So I'll start about there. I think. And that'll go up like that. Let me do the back as well. I think we will. Some nice decoration on that bit. through there and then I'm going to cut that little bit off there and put one of the tabs on Put yellow, I'm not sure yet where it's going to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that for a minute. So I don't think it's going to go in there. Mind you, it could do, but I would most probably put that in a pocket. Because we need to do some pockets in a minute. What I'll do, I'll just clip it to that page there for now. 
to remind me of it. Okay, need something behind there, don't we? need a tap or something actually there's a bit there keep that bit Let's see what we've got I know we've got that one but... oh. I think I'll make a tag out of that one yeah we'll just cut the top off Okay, that way. Right, how tall do we want it? There, I think. We don't need a bit of jute. And that goes in there. Okay. I'm making that. Um, this I'm going to leave for a bit of writing, perhaps. Maybe something just down here. Or should we have a bit of lace on there? I think I'm going to. Oh no, on no. that. Put lace there. Need something here. I might actually. What washi tape down there? All that washi tape. <laughs> I have that was the first time I used that washi tape. I am so bad at hoarding Tim Holtz things. I really am. <laughs> oh dear. So I don't even like that bit to waste really. <laughs> I feel like I need a bit of lace or something here. I don't know. I might actually just put something in that top corner. Just a little bit of something. That's the wrong colour. Right, I've got, sorry, I've got this ribbon stuff that I make. I'll just use a bit of that actually. Right, yeah, I'm going to do that and then stitch around that. Okay. There we go, all stitched around and I'm going to put a little button there, I think. I've just threaded some thread and I'll put it there, I think. And that goes there. Put that away in case I 
but I'll just leave it out but in case I need it again. Okay, making that. Then this, we can have a little tag or something, or a little ticket sticking in, stuck in there. Um, let's have a look. That one will work. We're going to so, cut that one down. Okay, just cut that down, put some lines on the back, and that is going to go there. But I'm not saying that that is actually going to be there, but because I'm going to do something else, that's going to go somewhere else. I actually quite don't mind the way that's looking, but it's it might lay there, all right? We'll see. Right, this one I'm going to put some lace on, definitely. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it at this, or that. On this video okay because I've done quite a bit on this one and um, we'll carry on with this again tomorrow so again thank you very much everybody for joining me and I'll speak to you soon bye